from the false security that I have what it takes. Deliver me, Jesus. This is one of those prayers that I kind of hate praying, which means that I probably need to do it more. To say that I have false security in believing that I have what it takes is a little insulting. And again, the fact that I'm insulted is proof that I need this prayer. I need to understand that I don't have what it takes and that that's not a bad thing. You know, every year on New Year's Eve, I make a resolution. And every year I get super annoyed at all the people who say like, New Year's resolutions are terrible. New Year's resolutions, no one ever follows through with them. No one ever does them. Uh, and they just get really down on New Year's resolutions. I'll have to admit, I don't always follow through with my New Year's resolutions. In fact, sometimes it's pathetic how quickly I give up. And it might be something like, I'm not going to drink Diet Coke this year. And then day two, I'm already drinking four Diet Cokes a day again. <laughs> I might have a problem with Diet Coke. But, you know, it might be something else. It might be something not that I want to give up, but something that I want to do. You know, I might say I want to run a marathon this year. I might say I want to run a thousand miles this year. I might say that I want to lose weight. I might have a spiritual goal. I might say that I want to read the entire Bible, pray a rosary every day. Every year on New Year's, I make a resolution. And I have, in fact, stuck to my New Year's resolutions before. But as is the case with most people, more often than not, I don't. And the sad part is that a lot of times it's because I think when I'm going into it that this is going to be very easy. I think that I'm going to have the willpower to get up every day at 5 a.m. and work out. I think I'm just going to have the willpower to stop drinking my Diet Cokes. I think that all I need is willpower. And then when it comes down to it, I don't have the willpower that I thought I had. It's kind of the same with what this prayer is praying. Saying, like, I don't have what it takes. And none of us do. We don't even have what it takes to exist without God's will. If God said, I don't want you to exist anymore, we wouldn't. Luckily, God isn't that way. He's not going to just will that we stop existing. But we don't have what it takes. We can't get to heaven on our own. We just can't do it. I need God. If there's something I need to give up, if there's a virtue I need to work on, if there's a vice I need to get rid of, I can't do that on my own. I have to have God's help. That doesn't make me bad. It makes me a human. It makes me not God. And that's okay. It's okay that I'm not God. One thing I know for sure is that when I make a New Year's resolution, even if I don't complete it, I sure get a lot further than I would have had I not made a resolution in the first place. Goals are a good thing. They motivate us. They make us very intentional about our actions. And just because we don't always achieve those goals doesn't mean we shouldn't make them in the first place. Imagine all of us saying, heaven is impossible goal. Why should I even try? Sadly, there are people who do that, who think that way. But it is not the way that God wants us to live. God wants us to have a goal of getting to heaven, a resolution, a life resolution. And he wants us to be very intentional about trying to make that goal. But he also knows that we're going to fall and we're going to fail from time to time. We're not always going to stay on the right path to get us there. When we finally admit, no, maybe I don't have what it takes to do this on my own. Maybe I need God to help me get to heaven. Maybe I need other people. That is when we become successful. It's not a criticism on who we are. It's freedom to know that this is something that we can achieve. Rely on God. Ask for his help. Set a goal. And be holy from the false security that I have what it takes. Deliver me, Jesus.